Hello, I'm Kendra Von Esch, and you are listening to my 10-minute daily podcast, Reality Reflections. I bought into what this world said would make me happy. Money, prestige, power, and hey, if it feels good, do it, because life is stressful, so party hard. Do whatever makes you happy. But that didn't quite work out, because I felt even more insecure, full of fear, shame and anxiety, and never, ever good enough. Then God found me and flipped my reality upside down and transformed my life. And I want this for everyone. So I left my executive career to help others find true acceptance, supernatural peace, joy, and love that only comes from a relationship with God. Here is my reality reflection for today. If you want to do a podcast, you can. All you need is your phone and Spotify for podcasters. It is so simple. Anyone who listens to me knows that I am technically challenged. So all you need to do is just download the app It's free and get your voice on out there. People need to hear what you want to bring to the world. Spotify for podcasters. Check it out. Did you know that your sinful life, what you think, what you say, what you do, is directly correlated with your prayer life? I'm sure you've heard We live as we pray, and we pray as we live. And if you took a moment and looked at your life, and you're sitting there saying, God, how come I'm not on the other side of this temptation? How come I'm not on the other side of this addiction or this vice, vicious behavior, vicious thoughts? Why, Lord? I guess I'd like to pretend to be God for a moment and God turning back to you and saying, well, I don't know you. Lord, Lord, we've seen it all over the Bible where the virgins who didn't prepare, didn't bring the oil, didn't trim their wick. And when the bridegroom came, they were gone. They were trying to buy some of their oil. And then they went into the bridegroom's party, the wedding feast, knocking on the door. Lord, Lord, let us in. He's like, I don't know who you are. It's going to be the same way. There's going to be people that are going to be saying, Lord, I'd spoke about you on the corner. I healed people in your name. And he's still going to say, I don't know you. What is mental prayer? St. Teresa of Avila explains the concept super simple. Mental prayer is nothing else than an intimate friendship, a frequent heart to heart with God by whom we know ourselves to be loved She also says, praying is not in thinking much, but in loving much. Remember, love is a choice. We choose to love God. We choose to worship God. We choose all of it. We choose to love our spouses, our family, our friends. It's a choice. Seems weird, but it is a choice. And you know how often I say that if we do not choose to put God first and foremost in our life, like we are told in the two greatest commandments, that we will never be able to love others like he commands us to, or love ourselves like he commands us to. And St. Alphonsus Liguori says it's morally impossible for him who neglects meditation to live without sin. I mean, how many more ways can I say that it's really not negotiable? And if you're really looking to change things in your life, you truly need to adopt this new habit. 
start out 15, 20 minutes. You know, lately I've been pushing the 30 because I know you all can do it. 30 minutes with God is not long. It's not. It's, it may seem long in the beginning, but it won't be when you're done. Couple more quotes. St. Teresa, again, of Avila says, he who neglects mental prayer needs not a devil to carry him to hell, but he brings himself there with his own hands. I mean, come on. She's basically saying, you're bringing yourself there all on your own. St. John of the Cross says, without the aid of mental prayer, the soul cannot triumph over the forces of the demon. So it's just like a car, people. Your car needs fuel. Your spiritual life needs mental prayer. You may be running on fumes now and for possibly years if you didn't have prayer a part of your spiritual life. And when you think about it, sorry, I like (coughs) breathed in and kind of choked on my spit there for a second. Okay, but. If you are praying mental prayer, you are better able to fight the spiritual battle. If you're not praying mental prayer, it's going to be so much more difficult for you to turn away from sin. And you know that Satan and his minions know whether you're praying or not. They know where to attack you. They know how to attack you. They watch you all the time. So... I have a mental prayer meditation that I walk you through on the Soul, Mind, and Body YouTube membership group. And I got to tell you all, I'm not sure I'm sticking with YouTube. I don't know yet what is going on, but I know that they are going to be shutting things down. I know that they are already talking about taking medical information that is contrary to to the WHO, the World Health Organization, and they're going to shut down everything. So what does that mean? Me talking about keto? Is that anti the food pyramid out there? And what the the WHO says? I don't know. I really don't know. So we'll have to kind of play this whole YouTube thing day by day. And quite frankly, I don't even want to be a part of them or promoting their platform, but they're They're just so much easier to use. I just have to say that. So just stay with me on this one. I'll let you know if I'm jumping ship. But I do have a membership group there, and I did put together a mental prayer meditation so that you can learn how to meditate on the scriptures. Very, very briefly, it's three basic sections. It's the preparation so, I mean, you got to prepare. The, prepa- the, 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 the preparation is almost as important as the actual meditation itself because you've got to get yourself into the presence of God. You have to lift your heart and mind to him. You have to calm your mind. You have to cut out the distractions, pray deliverance prayers until you get to a place where your body is calm. And then you read the scripture that's reading the meditation and you read it over and over and over again. So this is your meditation. You look for phrases, you look for words, you look for themes, anything that is just kind of jumping out at you that says, hey, you, you ought to sit with this for a little bit. And you may not know what that means at all at the moment. You might be looking at the word like me daily, pick up your cross daily and follow me and be like, I have no idea what you're talking about, God. And that's okay, because guess what? That's what you sit there for. (laughs) You wait until he puts the logic, the wisdom, the knowledge, the understanding around that word that he made you stop at, or that theme, or that verse. Okay. Out of that meditation should be a conclusion. We should have some resolution to avoid a particular sin or to do a certain thing. And we need to finish by asking God and Mary and all the holy angels and saints to help us 
to help us live and actually do what we committed in that prayer. Lord, give us the grace. Okay? That's it, simply. And then we thank God and we go on with our day. I mean, there's more to it. There's more things like, okay, I want you to pray the Our Father. I want you to do an act of contrition. I want you to pray the Hail Mary and the Glory Be and like really start off your prayers in a certain way. But ultimately, it is just a matter of reading the scriptures and listening, 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 Linda. <laughs> listen, Linda, listen, Linda. Okay, some of you may not know what that is. You could actually go out there on that interweb and search, listen, Linda, Mexican boy or something like that. And it will bring up one of the funniest videos. This little kid has to be like three years old, is talking to his mom. Listen, Linda, 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 listen, Linda. I mean, it's hilarious, hilarious, but that's what we need to do. If I need to say, listen, Linda, and I'm talking to you, Linda, that's the key because we won't know what the conclusion is. If we're constantly talking, we have to stop our minds talking to God and we have to humbly say, Lord, I am here. Your servant is listening. All right, let's pray. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come Holy Spirit, come into our hearts. Help us have the desire, the will, the love for you to pray, to sit in silence, to have you speak to us through your word, and to have us look and seek your grace out in order to do what you ask us to do this day. This 24-hour journey that we are walking with you, we are your servants, and we will do what you ask. Lord, please help us to be prayer warriors, to know that prayer is a non-negotiable and to put in our path ways that will help us pray. Mary, take our left hand. Holy Spirit, your beloved spouse, take our right. Walk us to Jesus' heart. Guardian angel, all you holy angels and saints, please guide us and lead us and protect us during this day. In your name, Jesus, we pray. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Whew. You can do this. The more you do it, the easier it gets. And the more you do it and the consolations come, right? If James 4, 7, if you flee the devil, he will flee from you. If you draw near toward God, he's going to draw near toward you. It is just that simple. So remember, I do have a 40-day video prayer course. If you want to walk and learn how to pray with me, I would be honored. Just go to my website, KendraVonEsch.com, and go to Faith Services, and then slide down to Courses, and there it will be. And I will see you on the other side. Otherwise, if not me, find something, please, please. God helps those who help themselves. All right, everyone. I love you all so much. Find something more with God, soul, mind, and body, and have a blessed and inspired day.